Stinnett Police Chief Jason Collier is arrested and has resigned. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is a developing story that we've been following closely since yesterday. The city of Stinnett put Collier on administrative leave yesterday. That's according to the city manager. Today, he's been arrested by the Texas Rangers and he resigned. KAMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has more from local law enforcement and from the woman who claims that she was the alleged victim of Collier's alleged crime. Kaylee, joining us now live in studio with our top story tonight at 10. Kaylee. Jackie, Texas DPS Sergeant Cindy Barkley says the Hutchinson County District Attorney's Office requested the Texas Rangers conduct a criminal investigation into Jason Collier. That was Tuesday. Sergeant Barkley says, quote, Collier sent a text message to the victim with a fraudulent government record attached. The document was a fraudulent marriage annulment. Thursday afternoon, the Texas Rangers arrested Collier and booked him into the Hutchinson County Jail. He is charged with tampering with a government record with the intent to defraud or harm, which is a state jail felony. His bond was set at $10,000. Tuesday, Amarillo woman Cecily Steinmetz posted this to Facebook, saying she was engaged to Collier before she learned he was married. Steinmetz's original post has gone viral, shared tens of thousands of times, even internationally. I spoke with Steinmetz, who alleges Collier sent her a fake annulment document. Steinmetz says this photo of an annulment document is from Collier. And then he was like, well, you know, I'll, I'll get you the annulment. He's like, just hold on. And I was like, okay, you know, let me see it then. And he sent that to me. Um, and I told him, I said, well, I'm not going to take this at its face value. I'm going to check it out with Potter County. I did not think it was right in his position um, to be presenting people with a false document like that. You can see on this document it claims it was filed in the 108th District Court in Potter County. Judge Doug Woodburn presides over that court. We reached out and shared with him the photo of the annulment document Steinmetz claimed Collier sent her. Judge Woodburn replied saying, quote, no match exists either under that name or cause number. Our cause numbers are completely different, consisting of a zero, followed by six numbers starting in seven or eight. My court is followed by the letter E. It's a fake, end quote. Late Thursday afternoon, Stinnett City Manager Dirk Downs posted a statement to the city's Facebook page saying, quote, Chief of Police Jason Collier resigned his position effective immediately with the city of Stinnett. The city has accepted his resignation. Per city policy, we will have no comment about his personal matters. When asked what she hoped to accomplish by posting about Collier, Steinmetz said she wanted to raise awareness locally and for Collier to be held accountable. I would just hope that he has learned his lesson um, not to deceive people like that. Um, I was also more apt to believe him about everything due to his position. I mean, I would think that that would be a very upstanding person and a very honest person, and that is how he presented himself. And I would just hope that this doesn't happen to any other women in the future. Um, just the lies and promising things that are never going to happen. There's just no reason to drag people and their children into that. Sergeant Barkley tells me the criminal investigation by the Texas Rangers into Collier is ongoing. There's no further information available at this time. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Kaylee, thank you. Collier, who previously worked as a detective with the Pampa Police Department, was awarded the Medal of Valor by the state of Texas in 2016 for helping to save the life of Sergeant Houston Gass. Collier and three other officers were awarded for their quick thinking in getting Sergeant Gass to safety after he was shot in the face during a standoff. This story continues on MyHighPlains.com. You can find the latest updates as we learn more information.